Money gives you freedom and time to do the things that are important to you. You need money to pay for your bills and of course live comfortably. Lack of money is one of the leading causes of stress in our society today. Moreover, money-related issues are among the leading cause of divorce. So you see money is kind of important. That's why in this video I will share with you the one money rule that will make you rich and if you're new to the channel then hit the subscribe button below for more life-changing content. Some of the richest people in the world today did not inherit their wealth from their parents, but they worked hard to become successful again after many years of studying the lives of some of these successful people. Most authors agree that most people can achieve similar results by mimicking their actions in this video. We'll focus on one of the rules that is followed by all successful people and show you how the same rule will make you rich if you follow it. By the way, welcome to Ricky Avellino YouTube channel. Enjoy watching while learning. So what's the one money rule that will make you rich? Work a lot, spend a little and invest the difference. Although this rule seems so simple, it's the exact reason why most people ignore it because they think there's no way it can work. However, every rich person understands that the foundation of their success is built on this rule. Make sure you watch this video until the end to see how this rule can change your life firstly. Rich people are hardworking people and if you want to become rich, you need to work a lot too. I know that there are people who advocate that hard work alone doesn't make you rich. Which is true. However, I am yet to see a rich person that doesn't work harder than the average person does. For instance, most people only work 40 hours a week and that's it. Some even show up late to work and leave immediately after their shift ends. As a result, most of them end up having an average income and lifestyle. However, the average entrepreneur works at least 50 to 60 hours every single week. In extreme cases, some CEOs work for 15 hours every day and 90 hours every week, especially during the early days of their business. Now you may be wondering when you would get to enjoy yourself if you have to work so hard. The truth is that you will not have to continue working like this all through your life. But if you want to become rich then it is non-negotiable at the beginning. Even if you're an investor, you have to spend time researching the right stocks to buy. So don't let anyone deceive you that you're going to be successful by only putting in the same time as average people today. Michael Jordans is known as a legend in basketball and most people think he was born with the gift, but the truth is he trained harder than most players did. Howard Schultz the CEO of Starbucks continued working from home even after putting 13 hours of work in the office every single day. The billionaire entrepreneur Mark Cuban said he didn't go on vacation for seven years while starting his business. Therefore, if you want to work hard, like rich people, focus on the most important activities and concentrate your energy on them until you finish furthermore. One of the benefits of working hard is you can achieve more within a short time, someone who puts in 15 hours a day might be able to achieve twice as much as someone who barely stays for 8 hours at work. Therefore you can gain more skills and experience faster by working harder and with time you wouldn't have to work as much as you do to get the same results. For instance, as a business owner, you might be able to expand your business within a short time and make more money again, if you're a freelancer, you can increase your hourly rate in a short time by working hard and gaining experience. And if you're employed, you stand a better chance of being promoted faster if you're working harder than your fellow colleagues. One example of a hard worker is Elon Musk. In 2021 he became the world's richest person with a net worth of roughly $185 billion. However, he didn't just become the world's richest person overnight. His success took a many years of hard work and dedication to achieve. There was a time where he would work over 100 hours every single week and even sleep on the floor in his office. Although he doesn't work that many hours anymore, he still cranks out 80 to 90 hours of work every week after it was announced that Ellen is the richest person in the world. A Twitter user tagged him and wrote, Elon Musk is now the richest person in the world at $185 billion. Surprisingly, Ellen replied to the tweet by writing how strange. Well back to work. Another good example is the CEO of Apple Tim Cook. He wakes up as early as 3.45 a.m. every day and he starts working immediately. He's able to go through about 7 to 800 emails he receives every day because of that reading emails during his work hours is one of the ways that people waste time. But Tim Cook gets this distracting task off of his list before anyone else is awake. He gets to work very early and he's also one of the last people to close up shop now that you've seen. You can make more money by working hard. Let's also talk about how the rich spend their money. I know that one of the benefits of being rich is you can spend your money lavishly on any luxury item without breaking a sweat. However most rich people have a principle of spending very little note that what a billionaire considers this, little could be different from what you consider as little. 
That's why I started with the fact that you have to work hard to make more money, but it does not matter if you make more money, you'll still become poor if you spend all of it. So how do you spend less than you earn firstly, you need to have a budget to manage how you spend money. Spending money without a budget is one of the easiest ways to blow your income, especially on things that you do not need. However, a budget helps you differentiate between your needs and wants and prioritize how you spend money. Another way to spend less money is to live a modest lifestyle. You can buy the things that you want but always make sure that you don't spend more than you wearing because if not you'll end up with debt. Although most wealthy people can buy whatever they want. They are known to have a modest lifestyle. You'll always find Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook with a simple great t-shirt and dark jeans. Also, the founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates seems to be more comfortable wearing his sweaters and a button-down shirt. He believes that he doesn't need a fancy shirt for any reason. If you love this video, hit the like button. Another billionaire Warren Buffett still lives in the same home in Omaha, Nebraska which he bought for $31,500 in 1958. Again, spending little money gives you more disposable income. For example, someone who earns $50,000 and spends $500 of their income would have more disposable income than someone who earns $80,000 and spends 80% of their income. The first person would have $25,000. Well, the second person who earns more would have just $16,000. Another benefit of spending very little money is it reduces your financial stress. One of the reasons why most people worry about money is that they don't have enough disposable income. However, you would be able to pay more important bills by planning your finances and spending very little on things you don't need. Furthermore, one of the most important reasons for dialing back your spending is so that you can have more money to save and invest. Although both saving and investing are important, the two are definitely not the same saving money. Means keeping it aside for future use while investing means using money to purchase an asset with the hope that the value will increase in the future. Investing has become a primary means the rich use to build wealth because of its several benefits, firstly investing money is an excellent way to stay ahead of inflation. On average, the interest rates in most savings accounts is lower than the rate of inflation, which means that the longer you save money, the more purchasing power it loses. Also investing his way to build wealth by using money to make more money. Unlike employment, income investing allows you to make money without actively trading your time. Therefore many people consider it an excellent way to prepare for retirement. Having a permanent life insurance is a one way that will help you achieve your kind of retirement. Another example, you can invest in your employer-sponsored 401k account or contribute to an individual retirement account or IRA. Another benefit of such investments is that they come with tax advantages. The traditional 401k and IRA accounts allow you to invest your income before tax. And it is only tax when you want to withdraw money at retirement. Also the Roth 401k and IRA accounts allow you to invest your money after a tax and withdraw your money tax-free to show you what I mean. I'll give you a practical example of the growth of an investment in a savings account and another in an index fund account, assuming you save $500 every month for 30 years. How much do you think you'll have at the end? The average interest rate for most banks is as low as 0.5%. Let's assume that you were able to get one with a higher interest rate of 10.5%. In this case you'll have $194,260 after 30 years. Now let's assume that you were investing the same $500 every month in an index fund for 30 years. How much do you think you would have at the end? Historically the average return on the stock market considering an index like the S&P. 500 has been around 10 since an index fund tracks the performance of a market index, like the S. And P500 you could have just under a million dollars after 30 years. The difference between the two is obvious and you can see why investing is a better option than saving. Therefore, I'll give you some various examples of where you can invest your money to get a good return on your investment. We've considered the first example, which is the index fund. Also, we have mutual funds which vary slightly from index funds. A mutual fund is a type of investment vehicle made up of a pool of money collected from many investors to invest in securities, like stocks, bonds, money market instruments and other assets. Unlike an index fund, a professional fund manager actively manages a mutual fund. Another investment option you may consider is individual stock investing. What you're doing is buying a share of a company and becoming a part owner. In this case, you would make money when the value of the shares increase and this is known as a capital gain. You could also make money when the company you invested in pays the shareholders a dividend, which is a share of the company's profit. Stock market investing can be very profitable. Once you understand the basics. Variable universal life is also a good investment.
it has a protection and an investment combined. Other investing options include real estate, high-yielding savings accounts, certificates of deposit, government bond funds and many more. Hey, it looks that YouTube thinks this next video is the one that will change your financial life forever. Give it a watch and let's see if they're right.